Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today's video is on my designer nude lip products. Let's get started. So the two brands I'll be discussing are YSL and Chanel. I'll be doing some swatches on my forearm for you and of course give you price details. So first we're going to start with YSL, my little cutie right here in the corner and it is called the Liquid Mate Lip Stain and it retails for $38. However, if you do go on the YSL website, they are having a 50% off selected beauty buys. And this one right here is part of that cell. Also, you can see I have another one, just a different shade, and I have a lipstick version. All three uh, that I have right here are on that 50% off sale. So instead of paying $38, you will be paying $19, which is a big, huge deal, especially for a designer um, lip product. So I will put that direct link to the sale section on my description box. Click on that and it will give you right to that 50% off section right there. So like I said, this is called the Liquid Mate Lip Stain. And it's the color number 7, medium nude. Here you go, medium nude. So before I go to the swatch and let's talk about the packaging. I think YSL are perfect when it comes to packaging for their lip products. You have this beautiful gold top, the YSL logo on the middle, and you have like this bottom frosted silicone look. With, and I love that it's see-through so you can see the product. It's just so beautiful. Even if you don't like gold, you're not a fan of gold, I feel like you can't deny that this is a nice luxury, modern, elegance type of product it looks beautiful on your bathroom your vanity taking out of your purse your catch out it just says luxury to me glam and all of that i can go on for hours so now let's get to the swatching so here's a quick close-up of the color like i said it's color number seven medium nude so another thing that people love about this particular product Besides how beautiful it is, and of course, the price is the applicator. So the applicator is very different from probably what you might be used to. You have this different type of shape right here, and you have this soft texture. Very nice, so it can slide and glide on easily onto your lips. You can definitely, you will see a difference between this one and the Chanel ones. But it's so small and simple, but I love how it just gives me a lot of product on both sides. So you don't have to keep going back and forth to get um, a good amount of product. So I'm going to do two, um, two shades of swatch, I mean two coats. So here is the first coat. Right here, there we go. So this is color number seven. It's very pretty. It's like a pinkish, um, maybe a hint of purple or red in there, but definitely a really nice pink, medium nude. It's great on my skin tone. I feel like it's definitely universal on skin tones that are lighter than mine and darker than mine. Number seven is definitely a popular color from their collection, so I definitely, definitely recommend it. So here is a close-up. So that is for one coat. Now we're gonna do a second. Like I said, I have such good amount of product, so I don't have to go back again in the bottle. So here is a second coat. There you go. And it feels so soft on my skin, even though it's not on my lips. That's why I love this applicator. And it gave me so much product. I can even do a third or fourth coat if I wanted to. So here's a close-up of the color. It's not liquidy at all. It's mate because I guess it's supposed to dry very quickly and not have like a stain leftover. Very pretty color. So that was color number seven. Definitely recommend it. So now we're gonna do this color right here. And that color is number 23. It's called Singular tube deep nude so here is a close-up so right away you can see it's definitely a darker shade the number seven and then a quick comparison so you guys can see so yeah right away you can definitely see the difference number seven is lighter more pinkish pinkish 
and number 23 is like that berry purple in a way kind of like this is strawberry lemonade and this is like raspberry lemonade i think that's like a great comparison between those two so same thing you have that same applicator and now we're going to do a comparison so same applicator and great amount of product number 23 So this is number 23 compared to number 7. Very dark and rich, but still really nice. It's not too dark, but not too light. It definitely still complements number 7 really well. So if you like number 7 and if you want a deeper, darker color, then number 23 is for you. Or if you like 23, but you are want something lighter than number 7. Or you can just get both. Like I said, 50% off. So instead of paying $38 each, you'll only be paying $19. So you can wear get both colors, wear it for different occasions, different styles, what you're wearing, different seasons, and all of that. So now I'm going to do a second coat. Like I said, great amount of product that's already on. I don't have to go back. So let's go. Here you go. Number 23. Slides on so nice, adjust great glide, and here is 23. So I feel like when it dries off, it slowly starts to kind of look like number seven, but it still has that dark undertone to it. It is a beautiful color. I love it. So that was number 23 from YSL. So now we're gonna go to the lipstick. So this lipstick is called the Rouge Contour Lipstick and it's color number 70. A quick um, talk about the display or the packaging. You have full out gold, the YSL logo. Once again, beautiful, elegant. Definitely says luxury. Like, look at that. It's so nice. It feels very strong and sturdy, not like a cheap quality. I love that. And as I said, I have color number 70. And this also retails for $38. But of course, with that 50% off, you get $19 instead. So here's what the color looks like. And then you have that YSL logo in the middle. Same thing with designer lipsticks. You have like either Gucci or Prada in the middle. Or you have like that Tom Ford on top. But this time, you just have that YSL logo. And a quick comparison of color between this one, number 7, and number 70, and then number 23 and 70. So let's do that swatch. So here are the two colors we have. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. And here, let's do 70. So here is 70 looks like. It kind of reminds me of number 7. Definitely, it's kind of the same type of um, shade, but it's not as dark as number 23. But it does kind of have a hint of number 23, kind of in a way like a purplish type of undertone. If you can see, this is perfect for if you like number 7, but you want a lipstick version of it, the number 70 is your go-to. Now let's do a second coat. Make it a little bit thicker for you guys. So here is what number 70 looks like. Very similar to number 7. It is a nice, beautiful color. I do not wear lipsticks a lot. I'm just a makeup newbie in general. So I think these are perfect colors for someone like me. If you are new to makeup and you want to switch up your look but still be in your comfort zone, New lipsticks are your go-to, and it's just finding one that complements your skin tone. So here is number 70, really pretty. It's not too dry. There's a not too liquidy, it's just right, you know what I mean? Like, I hate when I put on lipstick and it feels really rough on my skin, I mean on my lips. Also because I already have dry, sensitive lips, so it's good to have something that doesn't irritate it. So that's all of my YSL products. So this is number 7, 23, and number 70. Now let's move on to Chanel. So we're going to do my Chanel lip gloss. And this is called the Rouge Coco Gloss. 
and I have the color number 722 and it retails for $32. With Chanel, there are no discounts, so you will be paying full price. But I think on the website they have free shipping, so that is something to look forward to. And their packaging is really beautiful. You get like the bots and the gift bots. And you also get like free samples and all of that when you order from the Chanel website. So like I said, I have color number 722. This is one of their popular colors, especially when they do a Chanel holiday gift set. This color is usually included. It reminds me of kind of like a cocoa powder type of color, like a dark purple hint of brown undertone. So you have this tall, skinny um, packaging or display. Then you have this gold band all around, a black top, and then you have that iconic Chanel logo. Really pretty, nice, modern, sleek. It is a beautiful product can fit in your bags or your cat shells and all of that and of course it's really beautiful on display so let's go with the swatching so now you're going to see the difference of applicator what i speak about compared to the ysl so this applicator it just reminds you of like a regular type of applicator that's a special kind of it looks kind of rough not rough but like kind of like a how can I say, a harder texture, whereas that YSL was more softer. And this is the type of product that you get. So you may not get too much, but we'll see. So we're gonna swatch it right here. There you go. So even though it is a rough type of applicator, it did feel nice on the skin. It wasn't too irritated, so that's great. So here is color number 722. It's a nice, um, color gloss. I like how it complements my skin tone. I like that it's not too glossy. I don't like glo lip glosses that are too glossy. I have full lips, so I don't want that much attention on it in a way, but I do want to highlight it, if you know what I mean. So this is perfect where it complements my skin, but it doesn't um, overdo it in a way. So if you do like this type of um, product or quality of it, but you don't like the shade that I have, don't worry, just go on that link in my description box and they have um, a lot of other shades. So it's kind of like a purplish brown mixed together. That's definitely different from the previous that I already swatched. Maybe a little bit of number 23 from YSL. So now let's go for second coat. So let's see if it's going to give me a lot. No, I'm going to definitely have to go back to get some more. So let's go with that second coat right here. So here's a second coat of number 722. Very pretty. I think it's a very nice color. It's simple, glam but it's not over top. So this is perfect for me if you're just starting to, you know, get into makeup and you just want to still be comfortable. It is a nice color and it highlights my skin tone very well. Definitely brown or black skin girl friendly for sure. So that was color number 722 and that retails, well this lip gloss in general retails for $32. So last and but not least, I have right here is the Rouge Allure Ink Matte Liquid Lip Color. That's a long um, name. And this one retails for $40. So this is the most expensive out of all my products I have here. And the irony of it all, it's the smallest and shortest out of all of them. So you have that frosted silicone bottom, so it's see-through, so you can see that product. Black top that says Chanel on the bottom right here. And then you have that iconic Chanel logo. I love the fact that they put the Chanel logo because I feel like if they just left it with Chanel right here, it would just be kind of plain looking in my opinion. It looks like a nail polish as well. It's very tiny. And a quick comparison between the YSL, it's shorter, it's really skinnier. I knew it was going to be small when I ordered it, but I didn't think it was going to be this skinny. I thought it was going to be thicker like the YSL. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And the color I have is number 804. Is that upside down? Yeah, I think so. 
Okay, so the color I have is number 804 Mauve Nude. I like this color because it said mauve and nude, and those are like my two colors that attract me the most. Here is the applicator. So it's like a short version of the Coco Lip Gloss. And then the amount of product that it gave me. So let's start with the swatching. So here we go. It is a nice, really pretty, beautiful color. It reminds me of number th number 23 with YSL, but it kind of has its own type of tone in a way too. And then here's a comparison between the Cocoa Lip Gloss. So it's definitely more of a deeper, rich color. It is a bit liquidy, um, which is kind of sad because it is a matte color, but maybe it'll get more matte when it dries off. So here's a first coat, and now let's go for a second one. So it looks like I have no product. It looks like the product dried off, but let's see anyway. Yeah, it still gave me some. It's a little bit screech, screechy. I don't know if that's the word, but it still gave me some product. I don't think I have to go back to get more. So here it is with a second coat, a little bit liquidy, like the lip gloss so if you compare between a chanel and a ysl ysl the ysl is more drier in a way and then the chanel is more liquidy but then again it did set a liquid lip color so that's exactly what i paid for so exactly what i got but now you can see comparison between a matte and a macwood liquid lip color it is a beautiful color i believe it is universal it can go with all skin tones so here are the swatches all together. It's really pretty. So that was color number 804, and that retails for $40. One con I would have to say about this is that you can see how it kind of has some space in between. You have to shake it, and then it goes away. So that's kind of a downfall for it to be $40. I don't have to do that for all my other products, but for that one, the fact that I have to shake it, it's kind of a, a turn off for me. So that's one con I will have to say throughout all of these products is that $40 one, you have to shake it. You don't have to shake it all the time before you use it, but if you're anal like me and you're like, why is that space there? You just have to shake it. So there you have it, you guys. Those are all my nude lip products from YSL and Chanel. Once again, here are the swatches. Number 7 from YSL. Number 23 from YSL. Lipstick number 70 from YSL. Lip gloss from Chanel number 722. And the Rouge Allure Ink Matte Liquid Lip Color from Chanel number 804 Mauve Nude. So comment down below which one's your favorite. Do you have any of these? And of course, do you think designer new lip colors or new lip products are worth the money? Let me know. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you love this type of contact, please check out my suggested videos on the upper right corner. And I will see you next time. Bye!